Hello, okay, we are with Mr. Who Reviews. Today we are going to go 7th episode 17. Uh, this introduces uh, a new character to so uh, named uh, Neil. And I'm looking at a bit of his backstory. When he was a younger, yes, he had hacked and got into Goha, unless he had made some of their fall. So I'm guessing that Goha decided to hire him. To maintain a uh, duel to the FDS uh, script. And that's all scene of a Neil facing the uh, oldest and all the same. There's gotta be a dueling style you uh, can't uh, take down. And it's gonna be made by the Duel King. So, uh, I'm like, also guessing that uh, he's the per uh, Neil's person that's in the, uh, like, shown in the AI. In the uh, Robin uh, restaurant at the end of episode 13, but don't know. Anyway, uh, Neil has a uh, uh, yoga and the others in this uh, tunnel place and wanting the uh, one of them to face uh, this uh, guy that uses a cat team to deck. And that's he dress up like a cat. Yeah, I, I think a Kathy from Eagle Zexel is, was, did a better version of that. Like, it didn't, didn't look exactly like a cat, but it didn't look creepy either. But, but this guy, yeah. Um, Rook is willing to step up the duel. I guess he wants to prove that he'll be the next duel thing about Yuga and probably just being like a Yuga is going to be overshadowing him. And, is that uh, me the duel came to set put on when uh Roa got Roman to put the idea of being duel king into Rook's head. And Rook does struggle a bit in the duel since uh, the cat guy uses card that uh, every time Rook draws as a guess uh, what her character is and if he's wrong he can't uh, play it or something, I don't really know. Um, Rook is freaking out and keeps uh, imagining it's all falling down uh, a chasm. And I find kind of funny that uh, when I uh, got so called Rook, Rook is pretending like he doesn't know who he is. Like, uh, they don't know himself. Like saying, oh, uh, Amy Me or something like that. It's a little weird. I guess when the cat guy they use some mind games on her or something. I find it kind of funny that there's a blue eyes white cat and a red eyes black cat and a red eyes cat. Ugh, I don't know. I don't really get the cat person, but I don't really hate them. They're just indifferent to them. And I'm gonna see what does win the duel. I think with a new uh, monster, but I'm not really sure. At the end, uh, Neil just has that uh, cat and look to swallow uh, the cat guy and he ejects uh, Yuga and the others out of the tunnel and the problem place. I don't know if they're gonna face um, a Neil like yeah, but hmm. Um, Rook is just determined to be the duel king or at least uh, a good duelist after what uh, Yuga uh, told him when he just mobile him to win. And, uh, yeah, I think it's a good episode. Like, always the duel isn't really that interesting. The interesting part is that uh, Neil's backstory. Not to say, uh, the voice actor for Neil, who also voiced uh, Kirito, sort of online, is doing a good job here. And hope uh, they come back soon. And I thought they were going to do another uh, tournament thing or 3 and 3 duel. But I guess not. I think it will sort of spread out, out through uh, the second half of the first season. Uh, but I kind of funny that Mimi is angry that this kid is higher up on uh, the Goha food, uh, Goha Corp food chain than her. Yeah. And apparently he's, he's the person that takes care of uh, anything that would destruct the uh, Goha. 
So that way he's probably after uh, well another reason to go after Yuga and Rust Duels. Uh, that's just my thoughts on the matter. And, uh, I do like the car design for uh, Neil and yeah the cat guy and his uh, cosplay again creepy. I don't know how that could be creepy and catty that I call it the cat isn't. Oh, uh, but is my opinion, but hmm. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, turn on, we do, because, there.